Hey y'all, and welcome back to LW's Pharmacy Technician channel. It is Labor Day weekend, and I hope you all are excited uh, about whatever you're doing this weekend. It's a three-day weekend for me, so I'm excited about it, but I still wanted to make sure that I got this content to you. This is series number nine. Can you say nine? Baby, look, we making sure we are consistent and that we're getting this work in, okay? So grab your pen, your paper, your phone, your calculators. Well, you probably don't need your calculator today, but grab your phone so we can um, jump into it and make sure that you are retaining this information. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do so, so we can help others to find out what we're doing here at LW. All righty, let's jump into the content. Okay, so the first one says drug nutrition interaction. So we're talking about drug and foods, right? Um, so we're talking about medication and food and how it interacts. We're talking about statins. So statins are used to do what? They are used to treat high cholesterol. Statins are used to treat high cholesterol. I'll write that down. So any drug name that ends in S-T-A-T-I-N is going to be used to do what? Treat high cholesterol. I'll write that down. If someone is taking a statin, they should not be using what? Grapefruit. So your answer is letter B. Grapefruit is not what they should be using if they are taking a statin. Uh, no grapefruit juice. They should not be eating a grapefruit, anything like that, because it will inactivate the medication. Make sure you write that down, okay, friend? The next one, indication of dietary supplements. So these are like vitamins. These are things that are herbal, natural things that we can buy over the counter. It says blank is an herbal supplement that may be used to treat osteoarthritis osteoarthritis and the answer is letter a letter a that is the indication for the herbal supplement that is used to treat osteo osteoarthritis osteoarthritis okay letter a make sure you write this down because dietary supplements is on the ptcb blueprint i don't know if you found the ptcb blueprint but if you google ptcb blueprint for 2023 it will give you an outline of everything that is going to be covered on your exam. Common medications adverse effects. Which drug class may result in hyperkalamia as an adverse effect? So hyperkalamia is elevated potassium levels in the blood. Elevated potassium levels in the blood. So we're talking about potassium that's in the blood, but it's a little too high, right? So when we think about, it says which drug class may result in that is going to be potassium sparing diuretics because they're sparing the potassium. And since they're doing that, it's resulting in too much potassium in the body. Because if you're sparing it, that means you're making sure that you're leaving it there. Okay. So it's not using too much of it. This is our pharmacy technician exam review course. It is on Udemy. I wanted to show this to you because I've been getting some DMs and some messages about, is there anything else that you all offer? Because some of my friends have said, I can't afford the four-week class. I can't afford the 15-week class. Is there anything else that I can do that can prepare me for the board exam? And the answer is yes. We have a class on Udemy. I'm going to drop the link in the video description um, that class has been taken by 317 students. Everyone has done well on it. You do get a little bit of a certificate at the end and it has a 4.8 rating. Um, and that class right now is $74, but I will tell you on Udemy, sometimes the prices are lower. Sometimes the prices are higher. It just depends. Um, but it's really a good program or a good review class to take. It's, only two and a half hours. Yeah, two and a half hours is all on online and you have a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you buy the program and you think that it's not for you, then you can, you know, um, take advantage of your 30 day money back guarantee. Okay. So definitely check it out. I'm going to link it in the video description and let me know if you decide to join because I love to see my friends from YouTube um, TikTok from social media joining our courses because I want I want your feedback. I want to know, you know, how how what what your experience was like. 
Um, the next one is talking about routes of administration. So we're looking at routes of administration. Routes of administration is how the medication is taken. You know, which way is it taken? Um, this one here talks about subcutaneously. Subcutaneously is our key word here. Sub means under, right? And then C-U-T means skin. And these are medical terminologies that you want to remember. Sub is under, C-U-T is skin, okay? So this is being administered under the skin. And the answer is letter C, Okay. Normally, people who are taking insulin, who are using some sort of injection, they're going right underneath that layer of skin to get that medication into their bodies. The next one is drug-to-drug -drug interaction. So we're talking about how one drug affects the next drug. It says, what is a contraindication? If something is contraindicated, that means it's going against, it's fighting against, right? Carbidolol is used to treat blood pressure. Pseudofedrin is used to treat nas nasal decongestion. We know that if a person is taking blood pressure medication, they should not be taking pseudofedrin because it increases the heart rate, okay? Write this down. This is a very important slide. It increases the heart rate, okay? So the answer for this one is letter D. They should not be taking pseudofedrine with carbidolol. If a person has high blood pressure, they shouldn't be taking anything with a D in it. Any type of nasal decongestant, they should not be taking, okay? The next one is indication is a medication. What is this medication used for? That word indication is just a big word for use, okay? Frank, look, let me tell you this. I don't want you to look at this and think that you can't do it. I don't want you to see this and feel like it's something that isn't for you. This is for you, okay? This is for you. You've made it this far. If this wasn't for you, you wouldn't be here in this moment. You're experiencing the newness that life has to offer you, okay, friend? Don't doubt yourself, okay? This information that you're learning is really common sense. And the more you embrace it, the more you will understand it and the easier it will become. You don't want to allow it to be something bigger than what it is. This is just an opportunity, okay? I want you to take a deep breath and I want you to breathe out because a lot of us are running through life trying to get to the next thing and we're forgetting to live in the moment. This is an opportunity of something that you've never had before. And it's something that will allow you to do something you've never done before, okay? So breathe, take a deep breath and blow it out. Allow yourself the opportunity to embrace this and to experience this in a new, exciting, fun way. Not in a way of chores, not in a way of, oh my God, I gotta do this. Remove that, okay? Remove that thinking and allow yourself to experience this because here's the thing. If you couldn't do it, you wouldn't be here. If it wasn't for you, you would have never found it. There's so many people who are trying to do something that they don't even know what pharmacy tech is. They don't even know how to pass the PTCB exam. They don't even know the exam exists, but you do. And it's because it's for you. Okay. So I want you to slow down a little bit and allow yourself to experience this as something that is for you, something you're obtaining, no matter where you are, no matter how old you are, no matter what you did, what you didn't do, no matter how many other programs you started and you didn't finish, no matter what happened, this is for you. This is your opportunity. Believe it, receive it, okay? Don't allow yourself because the battle is in the mind. Okay, it ain't this paper. It ain't these words on this paper. The battle is you. You is you are your worst enemy at times. Okay, so breathe in, breathe out, and allow some fresh, fresh new oxygen to come to your brain. You ought to feel better. Okay, just make sure that you are being consciously aware of how you're feeling, and making sure that you're being kind and gentle to yourself. Give yourself grace, okay? This one says the indication of medications, okay? It's indicated for hypertension, 
diabetic neuropathy, and stroke prevention. They want to know which medication is indicated for all three. And the medication that can be used for all three is Lozart. Lozart. And I put pictures here of what, you know, high blood pressure, somebody with diabetic neuropathy, and then um, what a stroke patient looks like, okay? Migraines. So what ingredients are contained in, in Excedrin migraine? And that was an easy fix. This is an OTC medication. Um, so these are OTCs. And the answer is A. That was an easy one. Um, migraine is not going to have pseudoephedrine in it. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Drug stability. A formation of a precipitant in a blank indicates instability of the dosage form. Instability means something that is not stable, something that is breaking apart, something that is falling apart, something that does not resemble what it should have been when you first got it, right? So it's like um, that crystal, it crystallizes, okay? And so it says, we're looking for a solution. Well, I just gave you the answer. The answer is C, solution. And then you'll see precipitation is down here. And that's basically when it crystallizes. okay? A formation of precipitation lets us know that that drug is no longer good and we should not be using it. Um, I'm trying to, it's like milk. When you see that milk and it goes bad and you start seeing all those clumps and things like that, you throw it out because you know that if you do use it, it'll make you sick because it's no longer good. Dosage forms. The dosage form for atorvastatin is tablets. Tablets. These are just easy. These are easy. Get it done. Okay. And the very last one talks about adverse effect. And remember, we talked about adverse effect back in one of the other series or the episodes, but a patient that is taking blank may experience octotoxicity as an adverse effect. Octotoxicity is octo is ear, toxicity is poisoning, poisoning, octotoxicity, ear poisoning, right? And the drug that does this is furosemide. Furosemide will, it can cause this. It doesn't say that it will, but that is an adverse effect. Remember, an adverse effect is something that goes wrong, okay? A side effect is something that we know is going to happen, but it doesn't really harm you. An adverse effect is something we don't want. We don't want that, okay? Write that down. Please pause the video and write that down, okay, friend? Well, we are at the end. I have been trying to make sure that I'm making these series shorter because it's such a long series. I think we have at least four more to go. Um, this is series number nine. And so I'm trying to make sure that I'm being, you know, consciously aware of your time. But again, if you're interested in completing that pharmacy technician exam review class and you don't want to spend a lot of money, please check out Udemy. The link will be dropped in the description below. This is your Labor Day weekend, friend. Go out and enjoy yourself. Have a balance. There is nothing wrong with studying. There's nothing wrong with enjoying companies and enjoying people and having opportunities to go out and process the information you're learning and then come back to the studying. Um, because you don't want to have brain overload. You don't want to fry your brain, okay? You are successful. You are worthy, okay? You are more than a conqueror. You can do this. You are victorious. You were created perfectly. And the only thing that will get in the way of you getting across that finish line is the doubt that you have within yourself. I just read a book the other day that told me that every thought that I have, I don't have to accept it. Some thoughts I can reject. So when you begin to have thoughts of doubt, worry, and fear, you say it back to yourself, I reject this thought. I'm not accepting this, I'm rejecting this, okay? Friend, enjoy your weekend. Eat some, look, we call it barbecue. Uh, <laughs> in the South where I'm from, it's barbecue, okay? But eat you some barbecue. Um, go and watch a movie. Equalizer 3 is out, I was told. Just go and have a good time. Sit by the pool, go to the beach, go shopping, go eat your favorite dessert. Do something that makes you happy this weekend. 
celebrate you celebrate you and rest up okay because the journey is still ahead of us i love you all so much thank you so much for watching the channel please continue to spread the news i can see that you guys are sharing it and telling other people because more people are coming we want to make sure that people know that lw is here and that we exist and we want them to be a part of the family okay have a great weekend i will see you next sunday bye